Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to see extra content, join our Patreon page. Yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, we are actually not playing Farming Simulator 19. Instead, we're playing Farming Simulator 17 in this video. So, yeah, guys, it, it has been a while since we last played. But you guys know I said I would probably be doing some towing um, and other videos uh, in this game uh, that we currently can't do in uh, Farming Simulator 19 due to not having the right mods. So this is an example. We currently don't have any tow trucks, right? We have literally no tow trucks in the game. Um, so, or none that work or none that I could get or anything like that. So that's why we're in Farming Simulator 17. And yeah, we're going to be using our favorite one here, the Mac, um, made by Wood Meadow Farms. So pretty cool there. Uh, I do want to say, guys, the vehicles uh, that we're using in this video, they all have very different volume. So we're going to need to adjust it quite a bit. Um, yeah, I want you guys to hear the volume. Hopefully that's good. Okay, let's drive over uh, to the accident scene. So what happened was, uh, you guys know, it's actually really close to you. There is a bridge right across here uh, that is... Okay, first off, it's a really sketchy bridge. Uh, but there's no barriers or anything due to it not being really uh, necessary necessarily a permanent bridge so they really didn't uh spend much money on it uh until like the big one comes in like the actual like good high quality one so here's the bridge right there's no barriers which means somebody could drive off the side now from the direction we just came from somebody was speeding by and just i i don't know how but they um like i don't know how fast they were going or what exactly caused them to mess up but pretty much what happened was, here, let's lower this down again. Um, the vehicle went in the water. So you actually, right now, look, can you guys see it? Because I am I personally, right now, can barely see it. If you guys want to see it, here it is, okay? Boom. Here is the vehicle. So, yeah, it is underwater. It's a very heavy vehicle. Uh, it does have very good wheels on it, though. Like, it's meant to go off-roading. So, I, I, I think... Yeah, you can see, like, they literally came from this direction and just went down, right? Um, like, guys, honestly, does it, were they even trying to go on this bridge? Or were they literally just, they just lost control? You can kind of see, actually, skid marks there. Do you see there? I don't think those are from us. I think, yeah, okay, wait, I think those are from it skidding off. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, and then it's down here. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we, we need to tow it out. So, we're going to go ahead, guys, and hook up to it. Now, again, it's very heavy, and we're trying just to use this one uh, wrecker right here, but we might need, like, a big, um, like, star wreckers, like, the ones the ones that can carry a lot more weight and that have, like, the movable arms and stuff. We might need those. We might not. I don't know. We'll see. So, this is on. We're going to hop on out. Actually, here, let's turn on our lights. There we go. Okay, so we're all good. We are not really walking the sidewalk or anything, so we should be okay. I don't want to pull, I don't want to go too close to the edge in case it starts pulling us down. It shouldn't if we do our job correctly, but we will see. So let's go down, guys. We're going to have to go swimming again. Here we go. Okay, we're wet. We, we are we are swimming. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's attach here. There we go. Okay, let's get out before we drown. Perfect. Again, okay, we're going to start pulling it out, and I want to be very careful with this one. Um, because it's, it's, guys, it is such an expensive vehicle. Yes, it is submerged. Uh, but it should be able to run once it out. It literally, like, you probably could even turn it on now, if I'm being completely, like, actually, no, the exhaust is under, right? Um, you see the exhaust is raised. Like, it's, you know, like, okay, you might be in the water a bit, but not fully submerged. Either way, this vehicle can probably still work. It just needs to get out of the water, and it, it can't get a grip when it's under the water like this. So, let's go ahead, guys, and start, uh, pulling it up. So, we're just gonna do a slow winch for now. Here we go. Okay. Okay. It's pulling. It's going good so far. Come on. Okay. I don't want to pull it too fast. Watch our angle. Okay. So you see our cable is about to be hitting that ground there. And that's not what we want. So we're actually going to release cable here for a sec. I want to back up. I don't want to go too far back in case it starts pulling us. But here. Yeah, let's try it. Let's tighten again. There we go. We do not want our cable going into the into the mound here right I want to make sure that's staying up in the air okay so there we go it's starting to go here we go here we go okay 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 no, no okay we're pulling it too aggressively now 
Um, okay, that's a lot of weight. It's also not centered completely. Okay, you know what? We, we have to release. We have to release. We need to get make sure this thing is aligned. This vehicle is not meant to hold that, this much weight. And we are only using one of our two cables, if you can't tell. So we need to keep a note of that as well. The other one actually snapped the other day. So that is why we can only use one at a time. Okay. Okay. Let's try there. Here we go. Okay. Let's pull this up. Oh, it's so much weight on it. You know what? Okay. Do you, yeah, you see how it's just raising? That's not good for a vehicle. Okay, I have it released right now. We're going to... Here, actually, let's detach. Um, One sec. Let me remember how to do that. Detach will be... Shift and B. There we go. Okay. I want to maybe pull it at an angle. Because it literally is just going to be eating at our vehicle. And you see how it is kind of curved a bit right there? Uh, yeah, I'll show you the area I'm talking about. You see right here, it's kind of curved. I think we could drag it along. Like, it's not going to be damaged on our vehicle if it just kind of, sh like, shimmy it along a bit here. But I think this area will be the safest to get it up. So, let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, guys, the reason we're trying to be a bit more realistic on this video is because, um, you, I, I, we sometimes aren't that realistic when we do tone. So, I wanted to try being a little bit more realistic here, if you couldn't tell. Um, okay, well, let's go probably at this angle. Now, I know guys, I'm still doing stuff wrong. I'm not, I, I've never done this in real life, okay? So yeah, I, I, I don't think you'd be using this vehicle either. I don't think it has enough power. There is a tree in the way. Okay, I don't want to go too far back. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and de and attach again, I mean. Here we go, okay. Uh, attach there, okay. Centered as we can, actually here. There, is that centered? Yeah, that looks centered, okay. So let's go ahead and start pulling it in. Oh, you see, it, it is trying to pull our vehicle too. You see us being weighed down, look. Wait, look. Yeah, you see, it is it is challenging on our vehicle. Okay, oh, we actually flipped it. I was not paying attention. Um. Okay, that's a lot more weight. Now, it is in a better area now. If we release right now, it's going to go roll one of two ways. Um, okay, we need to release. Come on, go on your wheels. Yes! Okay, perfect. Ah, uh, that angle, though, is not ideal. Here, okay. Let's do a fast wrench quickly. Oh, no. Oh, no, okay. Let the wheels uh, settle. Okay, let them settle and kind of shift over. There we go. That's what we have to do. We just have to kind of let it do its thing. Uh, yeah, you see it's kind of sliding? That is what we want. You know what? Let's detach and reattach. Or, come on. Come on. Okay, you're... No, the angle's just too aggressive for it. What if we try driving a bit? Turning to the side and driving. It's... Okay, we just need to get it over... Like, this is the angle we want to go up at. Right? It is on its wheels, but if we pull this... Oh! Okay, okay, that works. Wait. You see how it's kind of moving? It's kind of moving back in the position we want. Okay, come on, release. Okay, now grip again. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Exactly what we wanted. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm actually going to release. Yeah, it is able to stay in that position. Perfect. And again, we don't want our cables to snap, so we're going to pull it this way. There we go. Okay. Let's get it moving. Ooh, I don't like the wheel. I don't like the front wheels hovering. But this is the like best vantage point we have. Okay, we just got to kind of got to go for it. Okay, we are pulling at such a harsh angle. Come on. Now it is pushed it. You see how it's our left, the left section of our arm is where the cable's from. So the right section is able to kind of like support it. So this is, it's not hurting our vehicle as bad as it l necessarily looks. Okay, come on. Come on. This is, there we go. Okay. I knew it would reposition a bit. There you go. Okay, get those wheels up. Get those wheels up. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Don't lose it. Don't lose Don't lose it. That will snap my cable if it just drops down. Okay. We're going to try driving a bit. Is it? Okay. I think it's at the point where we can now detach. 
or release a bit. Okay, I want to kind of pull forwards. There we go. Okay, let's start pulling it. There we go. Okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's looking good. We're going to do a little fast wrench action there. There we go. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Sometimes this happens. Uh, come on, what are you doing, vehicle? What are you doing? There we go, okay. That's as good as we're gonna get it, I think. There we go, okay, so we are off now. So here, what we'll do is we'll pull kind of over here. We are blocking the path now, but that's okay. Let's get out. We're gonna attach our, uh, our wiring onto this so we can have some lighting up there. Let's do that. Okay, I think we got it connected. Okay, so let's hop in here. Okay, and we aren't trying to mess with it. That just the electricity from our vehicle. There we go. We're not using its circuit or anything. Or the engine on this thing is still off. So don't worry about that, guys. Okay. Here, you know what? Here, we're gonna... Uh, here, let's do this. So it grips a little bit better. Let's try attaching like that. There we go. That is what we're talking about. Okay. So we are off now. We don't have any hazards on that thing though yet. Ooh, okay. You know what? Let's let's connect the hazards. Let's let's do that quickly. There we go. Okay. Can we get those hazards working? Yes. Okay, we got that actual vehicle's hazards working, so that's good. And now we should be good to go. There we go. Okay. Uh is that angle a bit yeah, you know what? That angle's a little bit too harsh. We're gonna try lowering that down a little. And now connecting. Okay. Yeah, we, we still have enough ground clearance, I think. So let's drive along through here. We're just going to bring it over to the shop, I'm thinking. So it should be good. Uh, how do we get to the shop from here? I'm hoping there's a way we can turn left over here. Because if not, then I have no clue where we're going. Okay, we should still be connected. Yep. Okay, perfect. Go nice and slow. Oh, there is no path turning left here. Um, okay, let's open up our map. Mmm. There's no way to turn out for quite a while. So I think we're gonna have to do some off-roading. We're not able to turn around, guys. There's no chance of us turning around here. So let's just kind of go up. Watch the angle. Watch the angle. Watch the tree. Okay, the vehicle. Yeah, okay. The vehicle is shorter than ours. So that's good. Okay, now we should be good. Again, there's some sharp angles coming up. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's watch for traffic. Okay, traffic, you're going to have to wait. You are going to have to wait. No, no, don't do this. Do not do this, traffic. You just need to. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You gave me just enough space. Better than better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so the, here's our max speed currently. I don't... I guess... Well, we're dragging those back wheels. They're all locked up. That's not good. Yeah, we like those back those wheels on this vehicle are just locked up. Oh, okay, okay, that's not good. There's nothing we can do about that though. We don't have a flatbed at our shop, so there's no getting a flatbed for this job. That is unfortunate. Okay, yeah, those tires are gonna be destroyed. Wow. Okay, okay. I'm surprised they aren't budging at all. I don't know how we're even moving this thing. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Th this vehicle needs new tires either way. But, oh, that's that's not, that is not good. <laughs> okay. Let's go up here. It's been drying out for a while. So, it this type of vehicle is meant like, it, so if it gets wet and stuff, it should be able to recover quite easily. So, I kind of want to try turning it on to see if we can unlock those wheels. Because the parking brake isn't on. Okay, the vehicle is on, guys. Are those... Okay, now they're spinning. Perfect. Okay, we're going to lower this volume here. Uh, okay, yeah. That should be good, I'm hoping. Okay. And those, ve those wheels are now able to spin, which is good. They were just all so locked up. But we look to be okay now. Yeah, I, gu I guess it just needed its engine kind of kicking into place. Maybe it's some... Uh, safety feature on the vehicle. I'm not 100% sure because the parking brake was off. 
like it, it was in neutral as well so like I don't know I really don't know why it wasn't going but you can see now like we're able to drive a lot easier now right we're going 20 miles an hour before we were cruising at like I don't know 12 miles an hour <laughs> So here we are, here's where we have to drop this thing off to get fixed and stuff and the owner will pick it up and the workers here will deal with it. We, d we don't own this place, they, this is just where we get, they, they pay us when we bring them the vehicle, so that's all that matters. Okay, we're going to park it right in that parking space and then we'll have to go inside and turn around. There we go, okay. We're going to want to turn this vehicle off. There we go, and let's turn off all those lights as well. There we go, okay, and I'm gonna raise the vehicle volume again for you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that at all, actually. Uh, hopefully you can hear it. Okay, so it's all good there. We just now need to detach here, like the wiring, so there we go. Okay, and now what we gotta do is detach from the vehicle. Let's do that here. Three, two, one, and why is that not working? Excuse me. Why aren't you working? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we can raise our arm back up so we don't catch anything. There we go. Or a little. What's that called, guys? What's this like? Is that that's not our arm? What is that called? I don't even know. Um, let me know, guys. Let me know if you know what it's called. Okay, and here we go. We are off. So we can now turn off our lights our beacons and our hazards there we go and let's drive back to our our starting area our little shop we, we kind of like our shop is kind of located at the farm it's kind of weird but it's the best we got guys we're working on a budget okay we're working on a budget but here we go guys uh, okay let's take we could go either way but just to take the main roads let's go right there and then let's go left over here oh no are we okay we're good. I thought we were about to hit one of those posts, but we seem good. Okay, and then, yeah, I guess we're good to go. Um, also, guys, okay, so this mod, okay, you need to join Wood Meadow Farms, um, like, uh, farming, um, community on Facebook in order to get this mod. I can't link the, like, search Wood Meadow Farms, go on their website, go whatever, to find the Facebook, but I can't link a download for the mod, guys. You just need to go on to their Facebook page and find it. Uh, you can search by search like the word like tow and then you'll find okay we are like riding so close to this vehicle how how close okay when we're this close I guess we still have some space but it like I, we're just so high off the ground okay they're they're going slow <laughs> that was probably loud okay here we are turn here yeah okay and then yeah let's just navigate our way through here there we go okay and we will just park this thing up so here we are okay there we go we're not really under the cover one sec let's turn this back on and let's back up a bit beep 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 there should be nothing behind us okay there we go and i think we're good okay so guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you guys did enjoy drop a like let me know any ideas you guys have for future videos um yeah oh by the way guys the comments that i feature every video those comments are ones that i find are um just the most the 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 most um I don't know how to say it. Like, I just co comments that I find are positive and or that are helpful. Those are the comments I try posting. If you ask for a shout out, your comment will not be featured. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind, guys. Just literally, the way you get chosen is just leave a nice comment, right? Leave a nice comment. Leave video ideas. Uh, that 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 is how you get featured. I I I have shouted out people in the past. When they ask for shout outs, but it's, it's something I try staying away from, okay? Um, but yeah, so if you want to shout out, best chances are just, just leave a nice comment, leave any ideas, and yeah, then then you have a chance. Also, guys, Decade Server, uh, go ahead and check it out. Uh, yeah, we have lots and lots and lots of people on the Decade Server. We're having so much fun on there. Plan on making more and more videos on it as well, so you guys can join up if you do choose. 
uh, links down below or link down below with more information and everything. So I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys are awesome. Bye bye. Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to see extra content, join our Patreon page.